you've come a long way, baby. That used to be the slogan of a cigarette commercial describing the advance of uh, cigarettes among women and a, a, a cigarette that was women friendly. Well, perhaps the same thing could be said about uh, modern television situation comedies. We've come a long way. When you look back to the history of uh, television sitcoms, you might think of the early days of Ozzy and Harriet, that ideal family that uh, was actually a real family on television. It was the Ozzy Nelson family, really married and having children. And uh, for 10 years, that uh, program was a staple on American television, it was the longest running uh, television show. <laughs> Sound effects, right? <laughs> the longest running television show, uh, situation comedy on TV for quite some time. But things have changed. We've gone from Ozzy and Harriet to Married with Children, uh, where you have, uh, uh, now what's his name? Al, Al, Al Bundy, that's it. Al Bundy being the butt of many jokes. Uh, the, the father of the family is a shoe salesman and uh, Former football star, he gets uh, uh, laughed at, and he himself is something of a buffoon, and the rest of the family is entirely out of control with everybody going their own different direction. And if you were upset perhaps with the, that particular comedy, then you might not be too happy with uh, what you might find on TV today, including The New Normal, which is a situation comedy of uh, two gay men who <coughs> wish to raise a child for themselves. You've come a long way, baby. That's certainly the case. Uh, this reflection on situation comedies reflects the broader developments within the, our, our American family. Over generations now, things have been changing dramatically. Uh, this, uh, <clears throat> to some, uh, reports had its beginnings back in the early days of the or, or the mid 18th or 19th century, the 1850s or so, uh, the, the idea of the family began to uh, come under uh, attention from uh, those who were do-gooders. Uh, in New England, there was the attempt to uh, develop public schools where the children would be taken from the care uh, of parents and brought into the public school and trained within the public school. The idea was to save the family. But what it accomplished was separating children from their parents in this particular effort of educating their children, disciplining their children, raising and instructing their children, separating children from their parents, and particularly in the New England area, it was in the minds of some Roman Catholics, it was designed to separate Catholic children from their Catholic parents. And uh, bring them up in the more uh, Unitarian New England uh, ideas. And that has continued over the course of time as our public school system has developed across the country uh, and the government has taken more and more of the control of our families, encroaching not only upon the educational processes, but uh, our retirement and uh, our employment and all kinds of things. The modern state has in many respects taken over the role of the family and has become the nanny state. So much so that if you live in New York City now, Mayor Bloomberg will tell you how big your soft drink can be and all kinds of other requirements. You've come a long way, baby. The family is under considerable attack. There have been concerns about the the growth of populations, and so some of these efforts have been designed to try to corral the family, slow it down, uh, and, and break it apart. Uh, and many of the social programs that have developed within our country have been designed outwardly to help the family, but have increased the disintegration of the family life. Uh, now it's much easier to live uh, as an individual, single families, and, and uh, people going all different directions. 